So there has been a huge shakeup in YouTube this week with uh, the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC, uh, filing a lawsuit and have charged YouTube and Google $170 million for illegally obtaining children's information while watching YouTube videos with ads. What happened here was uh, a lot of uh, channels that review children's toys, children's products, uh, they've had, uh, they've been sponsoring products on their channels and YouTube has been directing these huge companies to place advertisements around these videos uh, in the face of really just really young kids. Like we're talking kids that are preschool, kindergarten, first, second grades, very young impressionable kids. And uh, Google has announced that they are going to start cracking down on these channels and they have implemented some new rules and regulations on uh, the content that people put out. So what that means is a lot of channels such as Ryan Toys Review is uh, most likely going to be suffering here very shortly. Um, and really probably the biggest uh, channel to be hurt by this new policy is Ryan Toys Review. Uh, since 2015, Ryan Toys Reviews has been putting out videos uh, reviewing toys and in 90% of those videos they have some sort of sponsored product, meaning that in almost every single one of their videos uh, they have got ads targeted towards usually very young children. Um, and in the next four months, according to YouTube, they're going to start cracking down on content that is like Ryan Toys Review. Meaning, uh, Ryan Toys Review, is their ad revenue is going to suffer immensely because they're not going to be able to run the traditional ads, if any ads, uh, that they uh, used to. And of course, YouTube, even though they knew they were doing this, they came out and they said, you know, we've been trying to be the number one source for kids entertainment, and we, uh, we want to have all of this content that's uh, suitable for children, is great for children. We want to be the number one platform that children go to absorb video content. And yeah, you can do that, and they are doing that, but but at the cost of illegally obtaining children's information when their parents may not know about it and then targeting ads at those children who um, those children most likely don't know that they're being advertised to. Uh, they don't know the difference between a sponsored advertisement, uh, a commercial, or a review. Uh, you know, they, they probably don't really understand uh, what a review is for, and they just see a toy. They might see someone like Ryan from Ryan Toys Review uh, having fun with it and saying great things about it and just being ecstatic. They're like, yeah, I want that. Uh, me personally, I if I was a parent, which I'm not, but if I was, I wouldn't be comfortable with these channels exploiting uh, their viewers like this. I wouldn't want my kids watching it, uh, but that's probably mostly because I wouldn't want my kids watching videos about toys, like useless stuff that they want. I just wouldn't want to spend the extra money. <laughs> I wouldn't want to disappoint my children when I show them a thousand videos of a thousand different toys and they want all of them and I'm like, I can only get you like maybe five of these. But as far as this new change goes, it's probably going to change YouTube quite a bit. Um, maybe not for a lot of you uh, or a lot of people who uh, go on YouTube for different uh, content, but for parents and for kids, it's definitely going to change the landscape of what kind of videos people want to make and what they do make. Because now the monetary incentive to put out videos around children's content is going to be less about uh, reviews or sponsored products and it's going to be more about like legitimate 
entertainment, like maybe cartoons, you know, some sort of entertainment that doesn't involve a sponsored product. My opinion on this is if you do have a, a toy review channel, you should still be able to collect some sort of ad revenue from that video, but maybe you shouldn't be allowed to run ads or be sponsored by that product um, because that is just throwing a bunch of advertising in kids' faces and and I just don't think having that amount of advertisements thrown in anybody's face is healthy or a good thing. But this is definitely going to change up YouTube. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see over the next year how things change. And uh, with that, what do you think? Uh, do you think this is a good policy change? Do you even care at all? <laughs> and how do you feel about Ryan Toys Review? Um, do you think that they're going to continue to be a huge channel and they're going to be just fine? Or do you think they may fizzle away into obscurity? So yeah, whatever you think, comment, like, subscribe, and uh, that's it.